da da da. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, da da da. Ah, dash is what I want. I promise. I da da da. I think that would be nice then. Da da da. Yeah. Siri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of course, of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel dash. No, don't dash. Please don't. Da da da. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, da da da, it's almost time for Yuri to meet me in my house, so at the very least you want to come along and help out. It would be fun. To my surprise, Yuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, da da da. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Okay. <coughs> my voice is really starting to get taxed. I might have to skip some of the dots. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Lord, in high school, I had to do a reassurance of my closest friends, and I was scared and anxious, and they were upset with two... No, they weren't upset. Were they upset? I don't do well with people upset at me. Yeah, I'm about to take your voice. Uh, this shit is so great. It has kind of a moron by design, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, the protagonist in most animes is a moron. Goku is an idiot. Luffy from One Piece, he's an idiot. But he wants One Piece, he fights for his Nakamas. Uh, Natsu from Fairy Tale, he's an idiot. Fights for, with the power of friendship. Like, they're, they're most they're, most of the time they're idiots. Most of the time, the, the male protagonist in anime is a, is a lovable oaf. But he's an idiot. Uh, as I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri dash ah dot dot dot. Thank goodness dot dot dot. You're a little early dot dot dot. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous, and nobody answered the doorbell dot dot dot. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah dot dot dot. I suppose that's true dot dot dot. I didn't think of that dot 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 for some reason. It should be more common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Dang, I got a nice room. All right, we got a computer over here. We got a TV over here. I didn't have all that in my room when I was a kid. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Don't worry, guys. I hid the, uh... Yeah, Chip is on the bed. I hid, I hid the dirty magazines under the mattress. As long as she doesn't look there. It's so clean. Ah ha ha. I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no, da -da, I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm, well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, that would be even more embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which is the process of opening a desk drawer of my... Ah, da -da -da, I'm sorry, da -da -da. I wasn't thinking for some reason. Uh, I was just spacing out. <laughs> Okay, well, we know where his magazines are. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if to make sure she's keeping track of them. Uh... His head... Did you have a cat on the bed? <laughs> so, um... Uh, should we get started? Ah, yes. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations, other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know. Mood lighting aroma therapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help our guests take uh, take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, dash, intense, dot, dot, dot. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? Da, da, da. That makes me feel relieved. Da, da, da. And kind of happy. Da, da, da. But yeah, no need to be anxious. Her lap, she's touching her butt. What? Uh, you can relax a bit. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. She rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. She's going to summon a demon show. I did some shopping on the way here, and I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that'd be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a monkey paw I found. <laughs> it's a diffuser for essential oils. 
You know, I've actually never seen a diffuser. I know what they are from, like, context and hearing other people talk about them. I've never seen one in, in reality. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Uh, not familiar at all. Is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you could change the mood of the air itself. <laughs> happy air. <laughs> Just imagine Bob Ross, and we're gonna make some happy little air over here. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Mm. Uh, oh. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It's an aphrodisiac. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. And you feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, I'm going to tie your hands behind your back and... <laughs> Did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here, dot dot dot. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Uh, well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract them to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you could be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Uh, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Ooh hoo hoo. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. I don't know if I could trust someone that giggles, like, ooh hoo hoo. <laughs> is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? It's because of the diffuser. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I like how Tiger throats. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, maybe it's the excitement that uh, she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Mukluk. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I'm finished cutting the ribbons. All right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to get her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. Dun dun dun. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh ah. -uh. Well, I used it to kill a raccoon yesterday. <laughs> Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. Ah, uh, he was being the popular girl and I still now sells oils. Good Christian dating says she takes over and asks hands why they together and puts the death by 1,000 I forgot to torture. Stop looking for her pizza. Oh my god. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. <sighs> Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is, dot dot dot. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe, dot dot dot. Pants tent. Yeah, girl says she's into knives immediately. T immediate turn on. What am I saying? Ooh. Please don't think I'm weird for this, dot dot dot. <laughs> You're laughing at me, dot dot dot. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, dot dot dot. Well, if it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Dot dot dot. Yeah, dot dot dot. It's kind of intense. Ha ha ha. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Of course, it's so anime to friggin' stab myself and then be like, oh, what have I done? Uh, muck luck! Ah! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp! Dot dot dot! I barely touched it! It's my fault! I should have warned you! Dot dot dot! This knife is extremely sharp! It can cut through skin like paper! Oh no! A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes- is she gonna put the finger in her mouth? Ah. Oh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh oh! Without warning, she puts my finger in her mouth. 
Imagine my shock and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Pants tint. Startled, I instinctively pull my finger back. Oh, oh, dot, dot, dot. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I, dot, dot, dot. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, dot, dot, dot. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. So sorry. I feel like my the character would have just been like, I'm going to stay here as long as you want me to stay here. Ah, dot, dot, dot. Sure, it was a little weird, but it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Ooh. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. <laughs> says, you know what this situation calls for? <laughs> Makla! <laughs> Dash! Did you really just do that? N now or even dot 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 dot. Yuri looks like at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> dot dot dot. I knew that would be a bad idea. Dot dot dot. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Mukluk. Yuri giggles shyly, and I've got blood running down my hand. Eh? Yuri calls me weird. I have no response to that. Dot dot dot. Muk, I think you're pregnant. <laughs> Uh-oh, message deleted. What are you guys doing? Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish uh, attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be a very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, oh, that's right. One of the items, Yuri had asked me to buy was a bit of a watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those? Of course not. Six cups of water. Da da da. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. She's going to look in the desk drawer while I'm gone. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking your advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather... Th small plastic ba What's a bathroom cup? I don't know what a bathroom cup is. Rather than full-size glasses, I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? Uh, I come into the room see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, putting it back over her arm. Was she cutting herself with her knife? <sighs> Nothing. Uh, your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, dash. No, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, dot dot dot, I thought we would do something that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it out on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, dot dot dot, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so, dot dot dot, after rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide for when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school, dot dot dot, painting on a banner with watercolors was a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, dot dot dot, I'm sorry if this feels too childish, dot dot, no, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, dot dot dot, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. Oh, okay, braggart. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I use just like it when I could spend time with one other person, even if it's something simple like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit better. I think that's true for everybody. I mean, maybe some people still enjoy going out, but I think almost everyone enjoys having, like, a good friend next to them. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so, dot dot dot? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with another can make me happy. Okay, you finished that sentence in a good way. I think I feel the same way. 
Um, Doki Doki Avengers Club? What? Uh, bathroom cup is normal Japan for rinsing your mouth after brushing. Oh, like, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand, da da da. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kya! Dash! So sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. Ship's taking a little break, chat. Uh, it just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Oh, your face, dot dot dot. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. <laughs> You'll need to use the shower. Th that's another That's another trope I see in anime a lot. Like, uh, like two people running through the rain. They stomp at the nearest one's house. And the, one of the people is like, that doesn't live there is a wet from the rain. He's like, oh my god, take a shower. I'll throw your clothes in the wash. Like... Uh, I, I just be like, yeah, no, can I just borrow an umbrella and I'll run the rest of the helmet? I'll give you your umbrella back tomorrow? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. It'll get a towel right away. I'll rush out and fetch a small towel and dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back in front of her. Oh, Snapchat, we got the high definition now. We play in those cards. Here, dot, dot, dot. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Oh, dash. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry, dot dot dot. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Look at that chat. Death grip. Wait, dash. Uh, just dot 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 for a little longer. It feels really nice, dot dot dot. Ah, oh, dot dot dot. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression I recognize from when she reads her books almost as if she's lost in a daze enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening, dot dot dot? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me dizzy thoughts? Oh, uh, lines are comically appropriate than Dash. What a good get married. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was a moment ago. Ah, oh, dash dash dash. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, dot dot dot, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine, dash dash dot dot dot. The moment is over as soon as it began. Oh, you missed your chance for a smooch! Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. <clears throat> dot dot dot. I finish filling the night sky with the white dots and look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. Dot dot dot. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, oh, how can we pass the time? Perhaps it'd be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? Yeah, it's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, dot dot dot, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew! Ha ha ha. You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume you're at least enjoying yourself a little bit? No, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little bit concerned about our time, dot dot dot. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, dot dot dot. So you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work, dot dot dot. Well, dot dot dot, dot dot dot. Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait. Much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping that there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is we got everything done, right? Oh my god, I'm like, what's up, Outcast? Don't judge me. I'm being forced to play this. Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed, dot dot dot, or anything. Gathering all of her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that hardly means this is the last time it can happen. Invite her for dinner. Neither of you apparently have parents. Once Yuri packs up, I walk, out the, or walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if, if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, dot dot dot, Yuri fidgets. I guess, dot dot dot, I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, dash. I kind of say that without thinking. 
About today, dot dot dot. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we could do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere, dash. Ah, I forgot, you don't like going out much, dash. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, dot dot dot. You know what I'm trying to say, so dot dot dot. You're very thoughtful, Mukla. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh. I kind of like that about you. <laughs> it's the same image, just zoomed in. Well, dot dot dot, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Hop. Sasayori, dash. Uh-oh. Eh? Ah. Girl, you left the house in pajama booty shorts? Uh, hi, Mukluk. Sayori, dash. Just now we weren't, dash. E he he. It's okay, Mukluk. I just stopped by to say hi, dash. Uh um. It's nice to see you, dot dot dot. I'm sorry, I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad, dot dot dot. I'm sorry, dot dot dot. But we'll all be. I did predict Sayori was gonna kick down the door, so this is kind of metaphorically that. Their normal shorts, it's the chat box making them look like pajamas. Is it? I saw, yeah, you're, I guess you're, the polka dots, you're right, but like the frills too. I thought they were like pajama booty shorts. Uh, we'll be all together at the festival tomorrow. What are we gonna name the baby? <laughs> uh, that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like her head is just so big compared to the rest of her. Uh, clearly embarrassed, Yuri runs off. Sayori waves goodbye to her. Sayori Dash, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Haha, <laughs> well, dot dot dot. I tried staying in my room, dot dot dot, but my imagination was being really mean to me, dot dot dot. So I had to come here and see for it for myself. <laughs> she thought we was holding hands and stuff, chat. Uh, she has a nice hand. See what? What are you talking about? You know, da da da. how much fun you were having with Yuri and how close you got with her. It makes me da 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 really happy da 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 that you made such good friends da da. She's crying again. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me, Dash! Why am I feeling this way, Muck Luck? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much, da da da. Everything hurts so much, da da da. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Muck Luck. Even if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right, da da da. Okay. I'm gonna pause here for a second. I completely understand why this game warned against people with depression playing it when it started. Like, I've been there. I'm sure a lot of you have been there. I can completely understand someone in that state getting a bit too into it. Monica. Monica was right about what? Da da da. Sayori, da da da. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be, and she won't believe that. It's something that makes me happy. It's that she's going to say that you're just saying stuff to make her feel better. Uh, it's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else, so even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side so you don't feel any more pain. But, but, da da da. Uh, Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Muckle. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, da da da, that I might like you more than you like me. All right, that I can't help with. Sayori, dot, dot, dot. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. You were weak? I did this to myself. Muck luck, dot, dot, dot. I like you so much, I want to die. I don't know how to respond to that. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hind, my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Oh my gosh, that yeah, we went further with her than we did with Yuri. Uh, do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. Double checks the rating of this game. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What a stupid game! Oh my god. <sighs> what a stupid game. Chat, I've never been in this predicament. I didn't have anybody like me growing up, much less people of the opposite gender. I've never had to do this before. Uh... 
This is you hooked on a date. No, Azri, this is this is heart wrenching. No. I mean we're 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 flirting with Yuri, who plays with knives at every turn. So and I don't think this is a harem anime, so I think I have to not go for everyone. You'll mm. always be my dearest friend. Oh, I started reading silently. Hang on. Uh, what you need most is for things to be like they always have been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But wow, we are BSing really bad. Uh, really, uh, dot, dot, dot. Please trust me that I know what's best and I'll make you happy in the end. I promise I'll uh, help get things back to the way they were. I dot 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 C dot dot dot. Siri forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Oh my god. Now, like, okay, because I know this becomes a dark game at some point, I'm wondering if, like, no matter what route you choose, there's, like, a, one of the girls flirts with you, you turn her down, and then she, like, he commits suicide or something. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? <laughs> I should write a poem about this, dot dot dot. Sayori, dash, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember, for being so selfish. So please, dot dot dot, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here, dot dot dot, just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. Uh, nothing wrong with like days of, I like dating since you dark. I don't. I'm going to do this because y'all have made me do it with my own rules and then just put it on the shelf. Other thing, you're also right, I just want to get back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Muck Luck. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. Dot dot dot. So, dot dot dot. Siri's so smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked, I don't know how to react. Dot dot dot. Siri looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori? Dot dot dot. I'm left help helplessly standing in the front of my house. Great, now the cops are going to hear screams from my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I could do is support Siri through her feelings and help her on the path. That's right. I mean, okay. If this were real life, and someone suffering from depression declared their undying love for you, and you don't love them. Like, your choices are live your whole life as a lie to make them feel better, or put, you know, decline as nicely as you can, and either way, someone's gonna get hurt. It sucks. Uh, I'm having as much trouble understanding Siri's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. I bet she really regrets introducing me to that club. Option 3, see a ther therapist, yeah. I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. Of all the days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. <clears throat> I considered going to her house to wake her up and decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I sure the event will be great too. Muck luck! You are the you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. Why is this so quiet? That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared to have all, all the poems for performing. Like, okay, I guess the music just stopped. Uh, okay, odd. Um, in the end, I found a random... It's intended? Oh, great. I don't want that. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. Uh, you'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said that because... Uh, I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ah ha ha ha, you should take a little responsibility for her muck look. I mean, especially after you, uh, your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. 
I'm the club president after all, but I stammer embarrassed. Does he ever really tell her about it that quickly? How I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here, but I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a 